Puerto Rico. Yes, 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 y'all. Joseph. I'm here. Welcome to the Get Uncomfortable podcast show with your host, Stacey A. Cross. Joe and there McCabe. is no E in it. No E in There's it. There's a couple E's in yours. A couple E's. Man, I cannot wait to this week. Every week we drop a new episode for realtors, for entrepreneurs, for loan officers, for anyone, anybody Small business that wants owners. to blow their self up this year and the year. Oh, man, we got sound effects and everything. I love it. Sound of, we're on a budget. <laughs> we're on a budget. We got two people in the back holding up signs. Hey, uh, you know. This show is going to be amazing, but before we get into this show, which we're talking about time management and the B word, we're going to get into that B word. It's, it's a bad word. Bad word. Um, but thank you so much for watching the previous episode. If you have su subscribed, thank you so much. You can catch us on Spotify, iTunes, Google. Just type in Get Uncomfortable with Stacy and Joey. Joey Mac, Joe. Joey Mac. Joey Mac. Mac Daddy. And um, <laughs> someone say it over the back. And then get us Trademark. get us online. Subscribe. Hey, we also love your questions. And if you send us the questions, um, man, I'm just I'm just offering this out. It's my book, The Comfort Killers, The Comfort Killers Journal, and The Comfort Killers. You kill time, we kill comfort. T-shirt. So we love that, and we want to give that to you. Pen. No, that's the cross pen, baby. Cross is the boss. Give him pen hey. away. So here's the deal. We're talking about time management. There's a question that was sent in by one of our famed listeners. And I want to shout you out. Thank you so much for uh, sending in the question. What was the question? Read it in its entirety. The question said, I hope this message finds you having an excellent morning. I will. I will um, did. I let's did. see. When it comes to achieving your goals on a daily basis, how do you manage your time between work and family? Mm. And then they said they love us. They, they, they actually did. Hey, you could love us too. Send in your questions. You can email me right now, Stacy at thecomfortkillers.com. Remember, we're sending you this. We're choosing one of those questions. If your question gets aired on this show, you get a pack. Uh, we did get a couple answers. So let's give a couple answers from the Remax team here in Manny Young, Philadelphia, blowing the spot up. If you're thinking about getting your license, if you're a loan officer, if you're anyone that just wants to go into a different career change and kind of work to your potential, I mean, that's why I did it. You know, anything that blows up my potential, I don't want to work for the salary constraint constricts. Like, it's too much constriction. Yeah. I want to work to my potential. If you're thinking about that, hit us up. What's your email for the Remax, man? We got to get it to ah, the broker. Joseph McCabe at Remax.net. Yep, and then just put in there, get uncomfortable on the subject line, and we'll hook you up. We'll come you, have you come in the office and talk to the team. Sounds so good. yeah, what what uh, we got a couple answers here. Uh, what was Shanae? Shanae Frazier. Yeah. She's a realtor here, blowing it up. In fact, she's going to be a guest on the next segment. So yeah. what did she say? So Shanae was saying, uh, basically, uh, it's actually pretty good. I didn't read it in full till just now. <laughs> Uh, but she said the first thing that comes to mind is having a great support system that can assist you when you have to get all the things done. Uh, it seems impossible when you literally, you know, when you don't have enough time. Second thing that comes to mind is not overbooking yourself, whether it's meetings, showings, preparation, etc. Not overbooking, okay. Uh, you can always take a work break for a few hours in between when the kids get home from school. Yeah. Spouse home from work, etc. Give them that time. Mm. So time, 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 time control. Time I don't control. like to call it time management. I do like to call it time control because in order for me to control something, I have to know what's there, what's allotted. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's 24 hours in a day, 168 in a week, 740 in a month. If I say I have no time, then I'm lying. I, and most people, we're making up excuses, man. What do you think about that? When people no, say, I man, I don't... I don't got the time to just do the, the article on the website. I don't got the time to call that buyer back. I don't got the time. What are they really saying? Then how'd you have time for the Eagles game posts? Oh, the Eagles game. Not calling out that, there for the office or anything. You know, hey, but. listen, listen. I always said, man, people know too many stats. You ever meet someone and they know the stats of the fucking quarterback? They know the stats, man. Shout you out to mom. stuff I have to make it? Oh. <laughs> shout out to mom. She had the first one, mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, mama. Um, sorry. First hater. So, so here's the deal. You know the stats of the basketball player, what college they came from, how many shots they put up, how many red, uh, red zone, end zone shots they took, how many quarterbacks, but they don't know the stats of their paycheck. They don't know anything. They don't. They, they don't how invest. Do you know? They don't invest. They don't. So what do you think someone, when they say, man, it's I'm a about distraction. to It's a distraction. They're hiding. They're hiding. They're hiding. From, from what? They're falling for it. Middle class. Middle class syndrome. Let me, let me sit here and watch the sports game and forget about all the trouble I'm really in. And then on Monday, you're like, damn, there should have, would have, could have, I could have done this, oh, I didn't I get that. I need four new tires? Well, there goes my savings. That's it. 
he's always he's always going back on that middle class formula. In the last podcast, we actually gave you the middle class formula, the 401k. Um, you know, something blows out, the emergency fund, you're done. And he actually cursed my. He said he was like, "You're not done. You're." Fucked. Fucked. You see what I'm saying? So for me though, time management means to to control my time. So I love the conversation we were having before, where you're like, okay, you could go to the gym in the morning and you do, right? Yeah. Or you could go at night, but you know you're gonna get it done that day. Yeah. yeah I was gonna say. I mean, so there's like there's like three things I like, but also what Shanae said about the support system. Mm. That's huge because if you don't have, if you don't have partner buy-in or family buy-in. You're, Good, you're yeah. screwed. You're yep. going to be pissed off. You're going to be angry. They're going to weigh you down. You like. know, success is lonely. It doesn't have to be. But there's other people. Right. And I like to think that they do it because they're trying to help you and protect you. And right. Everyone knows how hard it is to run a business. It's amazing. It's tough. Um, everyone knows. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but none of them have ever done it. So if you don't have that good support system in place, um, that sucks. Yeah. You know, and even when it is in place, you know, just realize then that they're they're still going to come at you. Right. You're never going to be able to give them enough time. Right. Um, so it is important to have that expectation laid down up front. You know, one thing I've learned in the past and starting a business and doing this whole entrepreneurial thing, you know, got four companies that I'm working on at the same time, is that if you have white space in your calendar, devil, the devil comes out. Because you got too much time, you're distracted. There's mm-hmm. too many times that you could easily go here, there, somebody call you. Have you ever had somebody call you, hey man, I just wanna go over, all right, I'm there. Who the fuck? That, well, that means you weren't doing nothing. You weren't doing anything. You, you weren't doing anything, so someone yeah. could interject and steal you away from nothing. Yeah, yeah. or the so, real, well, let me check my calendar real quick. Yeah. You don't have shit in your Yeah, there's nothing going on. They don't even have Outlook. That is an old school They don't have technique. Gmail. You are busy. <laughs> you are busy. So here's though, for, for realtors that are out there though, um, when she said not to overbook, Shanae mentioned that, there is a tool that you could use and it's, it's free. I, I mean, I pay for it because when things work, pay for it, okay? So you could get the full thing. There's a tool called Calendly.com and they actually, you could actually have your, your, your clients book the time that you already set up and allotted that says I'm available here, here, and here. So nobody's gonna call you and say, hey, listen, I wanna see this house right now because hey, go to the calendar and then you find a time that lines up. If that time works for you, that time works for me. So Calendly.com, we should get we should get the sponsor, man. I need I, Calendly. Hit 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 me up. I want that sponsor. Send it to him. Yeah, I'm gonna send this little clip, this little clip to him. That's what, how you do it. So there's another word you hate, and it's the B word. It's the B word. It's actually the first line right here. What does it say? I'm stealing it from Ed Milet. Okay, okay, steal it. But it's balance. I hate uh-huh. the B word because it's. It's it's a buzzword right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So is time management, but mm-hmm. but balance more. Time than management anything. been buzzy since Forever. like yeah Forever. Dale Carnegie and shit. But it's the truth that balance balance will make you bored. Yeah. Because if you're balanced, you couldn't you couldn't possibly be working towards anything big enough mm-hmm. because it eats up so much time. Right. You know you could work twenty four seven on an idea for three years before before it comes to fruition and becomes possible yeah. and profitable. So balance will make you bored. That's that's, that's so you're working from Ed Milet. You well, know what's funny? Because when you said that, I thought of that. Like you're working for balance. So yeah. you gotta make sure that's balance. So you're really not doing nothing yeah. but working for the balance. For the balance, yeah. I get that, yeah. Ed. And you're working like in that. your business again. Yeah. In a way. I like that. Yeah. Uh, there's a book called E-Myth Revisited that talks about how entrepreneurs are really employees because we want to do everything. We, ha- we don't set up the system and the processes like the calendar. Got to delegate. The calendar is my delegation tool. Like, don't talk to me, talk to my calendar, right? So all these little things where you think, oh man, I don't got enough to, to hire an assistant. I'm not talking about an assistant. You could set up different things inside your business, especially the realtor business, where you don't have to be constantly like this. Yeah. And you really ain't doing nothing. Mm-mm. Those that are always busy, I wonder if they're really doing something. They're not doing anything, and that's what I was gonna say. There's it, finding balance for me is always working towards uh, another goal. I'm not happy when I reach a goal. I'm not happy when I've got nothing going on. I'm not happy when a deal closes. Right. I'm happy when I have something to constantly work towards. Mm. A goal, building a company, like hiring that. more people, closing more deals, getting like more things that. under contract. When I'm busy, I'm happy. But you know what though? It, it always is your highest morale is production. Like yeah. when you're always producing, when you're always working towards something like yep. what, what Joe said, that's when you're at your happiest. You're not stagnant and then what comes in? The thoughts of doubt creeps in, confusion mm-hmm. creeps in. Depression. D- depression. 
If you don't want to be depressed, here's a quick thing, and I'm not saying I'm a psychologist, psychiatrist, and I'm not trying to give you no meds, man. Stacey but Cross PhD. The Stacy A. Cross PhD. If you're depressed or you feel shitty, you got to get up and move. Hey, motivation is the the correlation to motivation is movement. You know, you don't sit there to wait to get motivated. You have to motivate yourself and very, get moving. Very few people have a chemical imbalance that causes depression. Yeah, that's that's Most what I'm saying. Most people, it's in action. You're not doing shit. You know, when I had um, uh, my Audi, it's so funny. I took my Audi to the to the Audi dealership, and I ended up leaving with the Volkswagen. So I can't call it my Audi anymore. So I had an Audi University, and you spoke about maximizing your time. Yeah. And everything I played in the university, you come in my car, you're not hearing the new uh, J Cole. You're not hearing the new uh, who? What else? I don't know. Future. Frank you're not. Sinatra's you're not hearing Frank CD. Sinatra. You know what you are hearing though? You're hearing some audio book. You're hearing something that I could develop myself with so if you're working eight hours a day and these are for the people that are in the careers that are in the nine to five right yeah. you're working what are you doing for the, the commute yeah well that's my thing and that's that's why when they talk about time management and time blocking and when you're working if you're working at a big enough scale yeah and you're closing enough deals and you're building enough businesses or even just your one business yeah. and you're doing things big enough you're not gonna have if you have time management God bless you yeah yeah okay because that's that's just crazy. To right. me. So I know that there's a couple things that I do in a day. I'm mm -hmm. going to the gym, mm -hmm. okay, for like one to two hours. Okay. Um, I am on my phone though. I and you gotta down. sleep. And you gotta sleep. And I gotta sleep, and then I always do something educational. Yeah. Okay. Then the on rest a daily of the day, basis. my calendar's full. Mm -hmm. So whether it's recruiting meetings, yeah. prospecting, uh, this week 10.99. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but I always find time for that. So for example, today from 2:30 mm -hmm. to all the way when I got back here from Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. eight-hour audio book done. Right. You ate a book. Eat books. Yeah. We are. We eat books. Yeah. We don't even read them. We eat them. Yeah. Most people so, won't read a book in a year. Actually, the average uh, average American only reads less than a book a year. And guess what book they're reading? The one that they get a shop right. The one that right. said, you know what I mean? The right. one, the storylines. I, I don't read. I don't read nonfiction. I, I don't read uh, fiction books. No, you I see what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't do it. That's stories. I get them, but I want something that develops me. And self improvement is huge. So I love what you said, though. If you're thinking about time management, then you're working on the time management all the time. Right. You're not actually working. If you're working on balance, like you, oh, I got to be balanced. Then you're actually putting all your effort and energy in the balance itself. So yeah. I get that. We had one Bruce. Bruce is a loan officer here uh, for Homefront Mortgage. Man, man, we got the whole in-house deal. Everything. Uh, Bruce came in, he got kids, so let's see what Bruce had to say about this time management. So Bruce actually said the one thing that I would say is an exception to this rule. So, okay. <clears throat> well, the one solution to it. So if you do have a family, um, I was about to say if that's important to you. It's not, <laughs> not, not important to me, it's just that it's bigger things I'm working on right now, okay? So, um, Man, we want to see, we want to see little Joey's man. Do I don't know if he's going to check. Do we really? I want to see a little Joe. Oh man. Do you? It somebody. Might said, you might not come to the office, man. Oh no, little Joe coming to the office. Little Joe closing They'll deals. Be running. They'll be running the place. But I want to see, man. That'll be a fun thing to watch. Go ahead. So Bruce says schedule your family. Yeah. First. I get and that. And then the work stuff. Yeah. So, so that's probably your best solution. Yep. Your yeah. best solution. I like that. And then it's not. You know, and they really do have an appointment with you, so at least you're giving them some time versus, you know, not time blocking them at all, going to the gym, doing those other things you yeah. want to do in the day. Next thing you know, it's 11 o'clock at night, and wife's pissed off, kids are mad they right. didn't see dad. Because, you know, the wealth really is in the family unit, right? So you're, you're happy and you're rich when everyone's happy in your family, yeah. right? So you could go home, no matter what goes on in a busy, hectic day, you know you could come home and you got that support system like yeah. what Shanae says. So he th he looks at things, he inadvertently says, my family first, yeah. and then everything around it. Yep. A couple tools and tips, man. A book that I read was Eat the Frog by Brian Tracy. I read this book a few years ago. And one thing that it says is, how do you eat a frog, man? Frogs are nasty, it's slimy, it's ugly. The things that you don't want to do in your day-to-day. -day, I'm talking about that tax that you don't want to do. You know what I don't want to do right now? And I got to put together all my stuff for uh, tax season. I mm. don't want to do it. But that's the most boring thing to do. What I got to do? I got to eat the frog. Let's eat it. it whole. Just pick it up. Put it in your mouth. Swallow it. It's the most disgusting thing. The most thing that you're scared to do. You have to do that first thing. If you try to live like that, knock out that thing that you don't want to do first, early, get it over with. I'm telling you, you're going to feel a hundred times lighter, a hundred times better because you are your own enemy. 
right? I get nightmares, man. Mm -hmm. I get nightmares when I don't finish things that I need to do. I know, I hold myself accountable. I write on a whiteboard every day. I come home, I see that thing and I can't scratch it off and it's not done, I can't go to sleep. And if I do go to sleep, I'm haunted by the idea that I didn't finish that thing. So we set ourselves up with our own accountability, I think, your, yeah. own, your own accountability system, and I think you should too. So here's, here's another thing that you mentioned, what's happening on the weekends? Right. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. So on the procrastination piece, yeah. like, there's always, one, you need to be working 24-7. Right. So you got to have, well, in, especially in the real estate mortgage business, you got to have a CRM. You got to have something that's running 24-7, right. talking to your people so mm -hmm. that you're essentially working 24-7. Right. But that doesn't mean you don't do anything else. Right. Then you should be using that to really amplify your business. I like that. But when it comes to coming up with ideas, you can't procrastinate. Like you said, you got to eat the frog. Yeah. So... I have an entire day, I plan it out at night. I've got everything I'm gonna do the next day, yep. line by line by line, and then all the bullshit administrative tasks, because I still gotta do those yep. right now. I can't pay someone for that yet. Yep. And I do it all. And if anything else comes into my head yep. that I should do, I don't push it off to the next day. It gets done that day or I don't go to bed, mm. or I get less sleep, and then I go to the gym tired. I really don't care, but I want the amount of time. I wanna be ahead of the next guy, and I'm going to be. Yep. And you know what? I see it. I love Facebook because I don't post shit because I love these other guys. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They let me know I'm winning. Yeah. And that because they're not doing anything. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you could tell. It, but here's the thing is if you're actually doing something to move yourself, your business, your life, your family forward, you don't have time to be worried about the small chat. You're not you're not in a small thinking circle. You're not there. You're too you're too productive. You're getting things done. So make sure that you have your activity. What you spoke about is hitting those targets on a day-to-day -day basis, but know what you're going to do the night before. Yeah. So you're not getting up like, oh man, what is it I gotta do? Start making sure, get in the habit of writing your shit down. Um, another book that's that's good is, I, I forget the name, I'll, I'll have it in the show notes, but if you write a list of items that you need to get done, your task, put priorities next to them, okay? Priority A, priority B, priority C. There's a thing called urgent, not urgent, important, import, not important. If it's not urgent and not important, why are we doing it? And that's watching TV, right? That's laying on the couch. And I understand you're sick right now and yeah. you're still here. It's easy to say, hey, stays. let's reschedule. It's easy. So those things that are easy to do, make sure you double check and make sure that those things are not urgent and not important. Yeah. You're still doing I always it. say focus on the cash flow stuff first. Yep. You know, most of the time that happens. The purpose, the revenue yep. stuff. Yep. Always focus on the mm. cash flow. But then once you're done that stuff for the day and you're at a point where you can't possibly you know, contact someone at nine o'clock at night, right. do the administrative stuff because you will continue to push it off. Off. Yeah, and until you, the until it falls things. off your calendar. Well, you know what? I really am not going to And then it's too late. It's like, yeah. it's like the check engine light in the damn car. Man. Yeah. It's like the, you know, put the oil, fill the oil in the car. We wait till the last, last minute and then get mad at who? And the by, mechanic. By administrative, that could be setting up systems that you need to have in place. Yep. You know, for instance, when agents come here to Remax, we have an entire closed platform called the perfect agent system that's it's not offered to anybody else it's only here it's all about systemization yeah it requires one hour a week mm -hmm. agents still don't find time for that mm -hmm. but one hour a week to put these systems into place so that could be the administrative task i'm talking about yep. but when you do that that's going to allow you to go from the 12 to 24 deal mark that most realtors get stuck at mm -hmm. to the 50 60 70 deal mark right and beyond so it's those little things it's yeah. putting those little you things in place it. I like that. So uh, there was a question that we had, and we have a segment called Realtor to Realtor because I know there's a lot of realtors that watch this and want to learn uh, other techniques that other realtors are using. And we got one right from in-house, right here, Remax Experts, located in Philadelphia. You got to hit us up. Check us out on Instagram as well, at Remax Experts PA. You know, I followed another right Remax now. Experts. The one down in Florida. I'm like, bro. Mm -hmm. I was like, tell me. You got me. You got me, okay? You got that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, let's welcome Shanae Woo! to get uncomfortable. Grab that. Yeah, this is a low budget deal, but we're low still coming to coming to you live. Still coming to you live. Come on, yeah. Shanae. Thank you, Joseph. You're welcome. Shanae. Shanae, man, congrats. You've been closing a lot of deals, making a lot of things happen. So man, I just want to say Shout yourself out. She is a comfort killer for real. That's the only way to do it. Uh -huh. You make your mind up that it's something you want to do. 
you don't quite know how you're going to do it, but you feel that you've aligned yourself with the people who can help you get help get you there. Yep. You stay with them. You stay in tune. You yep. pick up that phone. He know. I call him and text him at any time of the day. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I will get on Google and try to find an answer myself. But when you surround yourself by people that you feel comfortable with, that you know are all in the game yep. with you and that support you and that want you to win, it's not just about them. You got to stay here. You got to be hungry. And you just got to, I do get sleep. I'm going to just say that. Yeah, I don't. But <laughs> what's, your, what's your hours? What's your hour? Uh, now, I don't seven? have set hours. Okay. That's one thing. You just go to bed yeah. when you when get to bed. When my body says it's, it's time, time to lay it down, you I bring lay it down. it down. I love it. Yes. I love it. So, yeah, you, um, now we spoke, we spoke, um, I think maybe about a month ago, you were downstairs, I was downstairs, and you were just you were just making those calls, and I was like, man, what you got on your list? He was like, A, B, and C, and D. And you're always in action, you're always in motion, and you're always productive, and I think one part of, um, you know, other, other realtors that I come across, especially new realtors, they're always talking about what ain't working. Mm -hmm. There's too much time spent on what ain't working. But for you, it's more of a positive outlook on what could be. Yeah. The possibilities. And that's what I love about Shanae. And we got a surprise question for you today. First of all, we love your answer, what you said uh, for the time management, so we know how you do it. And I know you have kids, you have a family. Yes. Uh, but we have a question, and it says... And this is real to the realtor, baby, okay? Bring your realtor the questions in here, okay? Mm -hmm. We need this. I'd like to see the realtor's comment. Ah, we, we got to get this. Here, here it is. How do you talk to people into getting pre-qualified early on so you don't waste time? It goes back to time. You don't waste time showing them houses and find out in the end of the search that they can't afford what they finally settle on. That's one of the questions. Okay. Let me just read it all and then you can put it all together. Okay. Same thing for people who say they will pay with cash. We know them, right? Mm -hmm. How do you talk to them into getting the POF? POF is proof of funds for those out there in the entrepreneurial world, letter early on. Okay. So I say the first thing with uh, making, making them comfortable with getting a pre approval letter. So in talking to a borrower um, or a potential borrower, potential client, um, they may not come to you directly with a pre-approval letter. Right. So initially, I just explained to them what my, what my process is because if you don't outline your flow of things, That's the person you're speaking to is going to create the flow for you, That's which it. it's not their business, right? Right. You know what I mean? This is your business. Mm. So you got to let them know how you run your business. Mm. So. And you know, I'm, that's not to say that I get, didn't get stuck on the other side of the fence when I first started, right. because I did. Right. So let me be transparent about that. I did. New in the business, I'm just trying to get out here, get my feet wet, right. but I use that as a training tool. And once I started to get my feet wet, then I started creating my own flow. Right. And then creating my own flow, that they're either going to respect it or they're not. Mm -hmm. But I think most people respect when you tell them, when you demand and you command respect. Yeah. And that's what I do. I let them know I don't want to waste your time mm. or your family's time because your time is valuable, correct? I love it. Mine is. So this is how we do things. If you want to get a pre-approval, if you already have someone that you're talking with, or if not, I have my partner, Bomb LL, behind the camera. Bang, bang. Marlon Soto. Okay. <laughs> Hit Marlon at Soto. Yes. At Gmail. At, uh, no, at homefrontloans.com. Home 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 com. But I got the best Need some money? Track, do you need so. some money? <laughs> Hit her up. So, yeah. So, that's the way you want to do it. I mean, if you want the process to go as smooth as possible, you want to listen to a realtor like myself who has a flow, who runs her business the way that it should be ran uh -huh. to get you the result that you're asking for. I love that. I love that. Two things you said. You said you kept saying flow, but to me, you're just straight up hitting that system. Like, that's a system we're talking about. And the framing, like, on intake, like, firsthand. You can't go up in, uh, in Walmart and, and, and try to do Home Depot things. Like, that's Walmart, you know? So you have your business, your structure, your flow, mm -hmm. and then people have to respect that. And consumers mm -hmm. want, don't get it twisted, consumers don't want no chaos. Because then, they could just, they know that you're not serious. Right. You know what I mean? You ever right. had someone, it's like, man, this one's not serious. I'm not working right. with you. Right. You know, so having that, that, um, that strict flow and also being upfront about it. Right. Being upfront fast. And there's not going to be everyone who agrees with your, with your flow, with your business model, with your process. And that's okay. Can you say no to a customer? That's okay. Can you, you say sure no to can. a client? Yep. But I'll tell you one thing, though. The ones that, you know, don't want to follow, you know, the way that you go about things. They come back around. Perfect example. Perfect example. Had I have a client 
that I talked to in New York. Told him my per my entire system. Mm -hmm. It's like, Stacey, I don't know if I can do it. Bye. Okay, bye. Yeah. See, ya. see ya. Called me back before Christmas. Stacey, yep. I need to come back because yep. the flow is there, the system yep. is tight, and you already see the quality that you're gonna get. And yep. I think that's very important. It is because you can let them go out there and see what else you know what else is out there. Come back. Not saying that I'm the perfect realtor. I'm the best one out there, but I am best. I, I I'm a good damn realtor for me. Y'all see it. Hey, <laughs> if you're no, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. If anyone, everyone that's sitting on this table is the best at what they do. We are. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no humbleness about this, okay? Shanae is the best realtor in unique. Philadelphia, okay? Yes. Stacey A. Cross, the best realtor she in Philadelphia, okay? Joey McCabe, Joey. Daddy Mac. Daddy Mac. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate, the ultimate broker in Philadelphia. You want to be a part of a winning team? This is the team. Do you want to be a part of the winning team? Can I tell you what attracted me to tell Joseph? Him. I let, let, let him because know. Because when I walked into oh, his right office, yeah. yes, I didn't have any intention on signing that day with Remax Experts. I didn't know if this was going to be where I was coming. Yeah. But the first thing, so when you think outside of the box and not just think on surface, because mm -hmm. we all have a plan when we're walking into a building, right? right. We think we already know what we're going to do, mm -hmm. what we're going to say, but you know, well, first, I'm a God fearing woman, a woman, so I really own that, and I let God speak to me, you know, and I let Him speak through me, mm -hmm. and I just don't follow my own method sometimes. Right. I, I let Him float, you know, um, orchestrate right, yep. what I'm doing. Yep. So the first thing that attracted me to Joseph was I was like, how how old is he? And I know we say that a lot, but it's serious. <laughs> it's so serious. Here I am, 36, coming into a brokerage. Um, to see, you know, where where my next family is going to be. Right. And I meet this young man here where, first of all, the 26 part didn't scare me, where, right. which it will scare most people. Yeah. Because yeah, they feel like, me. what yeah. experience do you have? Right. You know, um, he don't know what he's doing. I'll hustle but I feel everybody. like if you know anything about the real estate business, he's not going to have his own office, his own people, his own uh, secretary, his own processor, if he doesn't know what he's, he's doing. doing. Yep. Like, he had to go to school for this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not something that you can just buy off of Amazon right. and just create it overnight. So for me, it was like, I want to see what he knows. Yeah. Like, 26 to get where you are right now, you know, still room to grow. Yeah. But you know, we all yeah. have room to grow, yeah. right? Later, she but, I didn't know shit. But to be Here with someone who is 26, <laughs> we winged it. We winged that. To be with someone who is 26 and has his own business, not one business, not two businesses, yeah. multiple, multiple businesses, businesses. Yep. and is able to run them and show up every day yep. the same way every day. Why wouldn't you want to be behind them, be on the side of them and learn what they learn? Just and just like, how, no. and just like how you were attracted, look up. at everybody that's being attracted right. to this environment. Right. Yeah, it's absolutely. Real. Remax Experts, 4320 Main Street, Maniunk, Philadelphia, we're taking over because why? We think like entrepreneurs, we think like business owners, all right? And we come here to blow your whole thing up. We offer the best of the best packages for new realtors, realtors that are blowing things up. You can move on over here, we'll take care of you. Loan officers, uh, we need those that keep money coming in and of course fatten our wallets at the same time. But don't be fooled by different color hair. Don't be fooled by gray hair thinking that they know everything and that's they're true. the wiser. That's true. Don't be fooled. That's Changing true. That's why I wore my hat. Hair. Don't be fooled by the wisdom nope. under the hat. Those nope. are the ones that are stuck. <laughs> Those are the ones that think it's only one way to do it's a flat things. Earth. Those are the ones that's not willing to change and not willing to grow. Yep. And if you want to grow, you don't want to be yeah. faced with them. There's too stagnant. Listen, yep. send your question in. If your question gets asked right here on the show where we make a whole damn show about it then you're gonna get the comfort killers pack that's the book how to change your life using tools you already have the journal and you kill time we kill comfort t-shirt size xl that's the only shirt i have if you're small oh well oh, i am stacy cross hey what we got coming up i think next week we have jay Possibly next week or the following. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay Durant, week. Culture Matters. Yep, but send your question in because that will be on. But next week then, yep. let's talk about how to buy. How did you purchase 90? Mm -hmm. That's yep. going to be huge. The whole deal mm -hmm. will be done by then. So. The whole deal will be done. So we'll have the documents, everything to show you for those that's always into that. Yeah. But how did Joe, at, I think you did that two years, you started a year ago, right? A year and a half. A year and a half mm -hmm. ago. Uh, 90, 90 properties, 90 units, 90 units, 70 some properties. Yeah, 90 units, 70 something properties, and pitch 26, 26 <laughs> years old. 
this is the information that we need and as you know we give it to you you don't need to buy a course you don't need to do anything extra you don't need to click a button mm -hmm. all you need to do is subscribe and make sure you're locked in I am Stacey A. Cross thank you so much Shanae for coming through Bomb Realtor right here tell them your Instagram and your information Instagram is Remix Realtor underscore Frazier you can hit me at Shanae Frazier um, at remax.net or you can go to my website www.discoverhomeswithshanae.com boom boom boom, <laughs> boom. and then Joe peace thank peace. you so much for uh, watching another episode of Get Uncomfortable with Stacy and Joe I want, to, I want you guys sitting right here so send us an email peace